What up dudes? Check out this lethal RDA clone that I've been using lately. I know right now you're probably thinking, whoa, that is badass. And you're right. But there might also be some people thinking, so what? Or clones are trash. Well, not this one. Basically, Vape Jam Philippines designed the lethal RDA and it was available last month in limited quantities. Uh, it's currently hard to find in stock though, and it's expensive at 130 bucks. Angel Six though came out with this clone, which not only is it low cost, but the thing is high quality. It has an integrated airflow system that channels the air through the top and down over the coil, which has the effect of keeping this whole thing cool. Not even, my mod barely even gets warm. Basically, the top cap is cool, the barrel is cool, the drip tip is cool. It works perfectly. But the added benefit of this airflow is that this device is leak proof. It does not leak. Uh, even if you over drip it, almost all RDAs, you, if you over drip, they're going to leak. This one, you can over drip it, hold it sideways, put it in your pocket, whatever. It doesn't leak. The, top it all off, this thing is easy to build, comes with this kick-ass wide bore top cap and it makes great vapor and great flavor you can't beat that what else do you want it's fantastic so let me show you what it's all about and I'll even throw in some close-ups of my build so you guys can see how it works This is the box it comes in. It has the RDA, an additional top cap for 510 drip tips, and a bag of uh, screws, O-rings, and a screwdriver. Uh, there's actually an option you can order to have two additional AFC rings in case you need them to match your mod, or you can order it specific for the uh, AFC ring that you want. The RDA comes with this wide bore top cap, which I think is fantastic, but you can, uh, it unscrews and you can insert on it this uh, 510 cap which looks like it might be a wide bore cap but it's not. It screws down over the AFC ring and exposes a Delrin insulator which now if I have a regular 510 drip tip I can include there. That's the RDA with a standard 510 but I've been liking it with the wider bore cap that it comes with which I think is pretty pretty slick um, the AFC ring you can turn to adjust it has a dual cyclop style opening you can turn it to adjust for these two mini holes or you can turn it to have a single uh, cyclops for single coil builds and all those options you can turn to restrict the airflow more if you like, but I prefer having both of the Cyclopses wide open. The barrel is held on by dual O-rings, which you can now see the build that I have in there. It's two 24 gauge nichrome coils. They're elevated towards the top of the post. These are square posts, by the way which is per great because the posts will never spin. The negative posts are milled into the deck and big screws, which makes it really easy to set these coils in there. They're kind of pushed towards the center and elevated to make use of the style of airflow. I'll show you the top cap. This is how the airflow works, which if you can see, the air is channeled through the Cyclops in this top cap and comes out directly above the coil before being sucked up through the top cap opening. It's, it works much better than I would have imagined because it, it gets great flavor, it gets great vapor because the holes are pretty big there and the whole top cap stays cool. It's perfect. It's like a built-in air conditioning system. When I need to re-drip this, I usually just drip I take a uh, dripper full of e-juice and I just splash it in the top through the drip top opening and 
it works fine. I don't ever worry about over dripping. I just splash it in there and I get great vapor every time. It's fantastic. That is the Lethal RDA clone by Angel Sakes. It's awesome. Flavor is awesome. Vapor is awesome. Doesn't leak. Stays cool. That's it. Thank you. Hope that this quick overview gave you the information you need about the Lethal RDA clone. This is Dave the Vapor, and I'm signing out.